have used wireless AirPods for like the last year. Going to these wired ones kind of sucks, but I think this is just temporary. Morning. How are you? I think I'm good. Do you have time for a short interview? Interview? Mm-hmm. How long is it? I set a timer for four minutes, although sometimes I forget to set the timer or when we hit the four minute mark, the person wants to keep talking. Okay. Do you want to do a short interview or can I explain what I'm doing and then you yeah. can consider it? Yeah. I'm attempting to do street epistemology, uh, the street version of it. Okay. It's where you use questions to gently challenge a person's claim that they make okay. because they think that it's true. Okay. So for example, maybe you think, uh, mm -hmm. if I bury this statue in my backyard, it'll yeah. help sell my parents' house faster or if I rearrange the furniture in this way, mm -hmm. I'll get a better vibe, a better energy maybe or something. Okay. Or it can even be more serious stuff, like yeah. maybe I think vaccines cause autism or I'm okay. sure the earth is flat. Yeah. Or I pray to a higher power because I think mm -hmm. this entity is listening and helping me get through yeah. challenging times. So I make a claim and you bombard me with questions until I don't bombard. anymore. Uh, that's a pretty good way of phrasing it, although it's not to like hit you with so many questions that you get confused. Okay. The, the purpose of the questions is to, is to bring clarity to- Into my own beliefs? Yes. Okay. What you think is true, mm -hmm. the reasons why you think it's true, okay. and then how you concluded that those reasons justify being so sure that it's true. Oh, mind if I throw out my gum real quick? Not at all. What's your first name? Uh, Zane. Zane? Okay. Okay, Zane is agreeing to a conversation. He's walking over there to throw his gum out. Um, I'll get my cameras going. In the meantime, I'm probably flashing up messages on the screen right now if I upload this to YouTube about how to behave and things to look into. Okay. Yeah. You okay if I record this? Yeah. Okay. Right, awesome. At the end of the conversation, okay. if you are uncomfortable with it whatsoever, okay. you can tell me at the, this point or yeah. I'll give you an email and you can message me later yeah, or whatever. Yeah. This isn't a Steven Crowder gotcha, yeah, Steven. change my mind, yeah. I'm going to make you look foolish. Okay. If at the end of this conversation you feel tricked okay. or anything like that, then yeah. I failed as an interviewer. Okay. No, okay. This isn't to trick you. This yeah. is honestly to figure out, well, what are we talking about? Why do you think it's true? And okay. how did you conclude that those are good reasons? Okay. Yeah, for sure. And is it Z-A-N-E? Z-A-I-N, actually. Okay. What keeps you busy here? Um, so I actually study medical humanities. Um, right now, Wait, my first class. Medical humanities? Yeah. What is that? That is actually, uh, it's like a humanities uh -huh. major, right, obviously, but it takes a more medical approach to it. So it's not just huh. specific on the humanities. It integrates, you know, medicine into it, because I am pre-med. You're pre-med. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never even heard of that discipline before. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's relatively new. They don't really have it in many universities, but hmm. they have it here, so I thought that was cool. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I kind of threw out a co couple of different examples of claims that people make that okay. we can explore with questions. Yeah. You don't have to pick any of those. We okay. can pick something different. Yeah, for sure. However, it's helpful when you pick something that's tied to who you are and how you behave. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I it you. motivates yeah. you to behave because you think that it's actually true. All right. So what claim would you like to explore with me asking questions? Well, you said you would offer like some suggestions, right? I can offer suggestions, however, it would be problematic, I suppose, if you picked one that you didn't think was true. Okay. But yeah, so maybe you think that there's a higher power. Maybe you think karma is real or everything happens for a reason okay. or... Uh, I guess I believe in God, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. God. And I'll set my timer for four minutes. Okay. I'm trying to remember how to do, to do that because yeah. people... If I, if I, yeah, because sometimes if I do upload the conversation, people are like, you're not setting the timer, what's wrong? Yeah. So I, I don't do it intentionally, I just forget. Yeah. Um, sure. What do you mean by the word God? God? Because I talk to a lot of people mm -hmm. and the definition of that word particularly can be very elusive. Okay. And I'm, I'm willing to go with your definition of it for the purpose yeah. of this ex right. exploration. Uh, so I believe God is a higher entity, you know, the creator of like all things and anything that has come into existence. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. And just the master and ruler of like anything, just anywhere. The master and ruler of everything. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever asked yourself mm -hmm. why you actually think it's true? What are the reasons? I have actually, and I feel like, mm -hmm. um, since, you know, this is actually a 
huge question, right, in history, you know, mm. regards to religion versus science. You know, how do we prove God is real? You know, I do question why I believe in God, and I kind of come. And it kind of comes down for me, at least, that it's just a way I'm gonna live my life and just a lifestyle I'm gonna have for myself. Because hmm. I feel like religion is a lifestyle. You know, when you believe in God, and you know, when you specify religion in that, you know, in whatever God you believe in, right, in that religion, that provides a lifestyle for you. You know, you have a basis for a lifestyle, how to live, morals that are already set for you, and I just, it's a really, it's an easier way of life instead of just questioning. In his actual existence, you know, why do why am I, you know, why do I have to follow these rules that my parents have set upon me, you know, because of like Christianity, Islam, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's just more for me, like, yeah, I chose to believe in God because he, he and his religion, like, I follow Islam, mm -hmm. I'm a Muslim, like, they, it provides a lifestyle for me. And so it just makes life a lot easier. Let me repeat it back to make sure I got it. Yeah. Uh, you believe that there's a higher power. Or you even said you choose to believe, right. which is interesting in and of itself. But yeah. you believe that there's a higher power, and that higher power might be uh, the Islamic God, or right. uh, and you're Muslim. Mm -hmm. And uh, you mentioned something about the belief that there's a God actually yeah. offers you or provides you with a specific lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it matter to you if the belief is factually true? If the belief, well, that's what belief is. Though. See, a belief. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be based off of facts, you know, right? You know, a belief mm. is like what you believe, you know? Because the thing is, you can't prove God is real scientifically. That's the thing, you know? You can't, you mm. can't really prove it, you know? Like, I've already, like, accepted that, right? You've accepted the idea of believing something that can't be demonstrated to be true. Yeah. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Like, I, like, I understand. It might sound a bit off, you know? Because, this is why I'm repeating it to you, because yeah. I want you to hear it also. No, but I understand that, though. Like, I understand that science yeah. and like you know it can't it can't prove for that to be true right but then with that also mm. places the argument okay then how are, how have we come to existence then, right right when you take that into consideration people say the big bang theory you know it just all just happened right it's like a common belief that for people who don't believe in that there's two hypotheses at least oh. um well if, if i understand what you're saying yeah. there's a couple hypotheses to consider about how we're here okay I, well, you're saying, okay, like, um, you're agreeing with me, but I'm trying no, but like, to... I, wanna, I, wanna, I want you to like, continue, I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I misun misunderstood you. Yeah. I'm sorry. This could be the result of a big bang and we're here, or maybe there is a higher power and we're here, or, yeah. ma or maybe it's a specific higher power, like Allah. Yeah. And then you, we're talking about, it's a belief. It almost sounds like you're saying, I understand going into it that it can't be demonstrated to be true. Right. And here we had our four-minute mark. Do you see what I'm... Keep going. I would love to keep going yeah. if you want to. Yeah. My question to you, however, is acknowledging that we could be all walking around with beliefs that are not true. Okay. Whether a person believes there's no God, or a person believes that Vishnu is the real God, or yeah. a person believes that Allah is the right God. Mm -hmm. Acknowledging that people can believe things that aren't true, mm -hmm. do you want to hold beliefs that are true? Do I want to hold beliefs that are true? And discard beliefs that are not true? Well, I feel like... Um Growing up with Islam definitely had a big influence on like what is true to me. I think it's just very, you know, specific, you know, to the person, you know, how they grew up, what mm. they've been exposed to, mm. what they chose to be exposed to, what they want to take in, what they reject. You know, it's all very specific to an individual, right? A person can mm. choose to believe in Buddhism, a person can choose to believe in Christianity. Mm -hmm. And it may be because they grew up with a Christian or Buddhist family, or it could be they've been a Christian all their lives and they've been introduced to Buddhist religion and, you know, the Buddhist, you know, laws and morals that they have, and they prefer that. You know, it's very specific. Prefer that. They yeah, prefer that. Exactly. It's because it's a lifestyle. You know, it's a lifestyle. Okay. Want to be when we're talking about lifestyles, mm -hmm. it sounds like you're talking about preferences about how we want to live our lives. Right. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm wondering, mm -hmm. when I'm exploring this with a person, yeah. whether it's factually true and real. Okay, see, that's like, that's where, that's where you gotta differentiate, you know, because <laughs> religion and like facts, that's when it starts to get, that's when it starts to get a little bit messy, you know, messy when you try to like put mm. the two together. I mean, people have put science and religion together, but you know, that's because like, they're really heavy in the religion and they justify this science because of religion, you know? Mm. But if you try to go the other way around, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> if you try to use science to justify religion, it just doesn't work. Okay. There's a lot of religious things that kind of counter, you know, a lot of scientific fact, right? And so okay. it just doesn't work like that. So that's where you kind of differentiate, you know, what are you going to like prioritize, right? Are you mm. going to prioritize this lifestyle you have in and the belief you have in God? 
Or are you going to constantly question your lifestyle, question the religions, question everything in the world? And, is, and the, is that how you want to live your life? You know, you're constantly seeking for, like, God to be this fact and true thing. But the thing is, it doesn't work that way, at least in my perspective. I don't feel like mm. it works that way. It has to be a belief. You can't, that's why people say... I and when you say belief, you mean preference, opinion. Is that right? Uh, I feel like it starts off as a preference and opinion. But mm. then I think belief is like a strong, you know, it's like in your heart, you know, mm -hmm. like I believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. But I think it starts off with, yeah, I prefer Buddhism, so I'm going to see where this takes me. Mm. And then they could be like, okay, I believe in, you know, whatever Buddhism has to offer. Okay. I feel like belief is something that comes later. So it's a lot stronger emotion with you because... Belief is a stronger emotion. Yeah, okay. I believe that, yeah. Okay. I think we should probably wrap it up. My hope is actually to have three conversations with the same person over the semester. Uh, okay. So we can have time in between for me to think about good questions to ask you okay, next cool. time, perhaps. Yeah, sure. and, and then you to think about the conversation we had. Mm -hmm. If we did meet again, I yeah. think where I'd want to pick it up would be acknowledging that, yes, we can believe things are true. We can believe things... That aren't necessarily true. That aren't necessarily true because it could influence our lifestyle and maybe... You, uh, we can get some sort of other benefit from thinking that it's the right. case. Because, I don't know, like, I kind of lived a long, like, I lived a lot of years kind of questioning my religion mm -hmm. and really, uh, you know, why is it like this? You know, why can't it be like this? You know, why is it this specific? You know, if this yeah. is how it is, why can't it be this way? You know, I would constantly question, right? And I just realized that that would just take me a lot further away from my faith. And questioning would take you further away from your faith, yeah, your religious would. views? Yeah, because, you know, hmm. there are some things that, you know, you know, it's good to be curious, it's good to ask questions. But, you know, just out of, just for me and my, and, you know, uh, what do you call it, interrogating myself, mm -hmm. I didn't have the answers to those questions. So for me, just me alone, asking myself those questions, it would take me away from my faith because I, hmm. I couldn't answer them. What would be the worst thing that would happen if you continued, if you decided to revisit the idea of questioning, mm -hmm. and then you actually find yourself moving away from your faith, moving away from... I wouldn't be happy because that's what I noticed myself. Like, I would mm -hmm. not be as happy as, say, the lifestyle I lived in where I just believed. And God, and oh, I see. Yeah. Your happiness would be at stake if you decided to question your religious right, faith. Because I'd be so, I'd be constantly confused. You know, I'd be going for prayer, but then my, and I'd be praying to God, but in my heart, I'd be like, wait, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? And so, whenever you have that unsettling thing, like you're still committing the practices, but in your mind and your heart, like you're defying it, it's really, it's kind of damaging. And so, I didn't want to mm. go down that path. I decided to just let it take me. And so I decided, yes, I believe in God. I believe in Allah and I'm Muslim. So yeah. And yet it can't be demonstrated or proven, to use your word. The belief is, is factually, like you, it's factually true that you believe it. Yeah. But you could be believing in something that's not factually true. You never know. You can't, you can't know whether it's true or not. That's the thing. Mm. I feel like... Could you yeah. be deriving happiness from a claim that's not factually true? Probably, but I could also be deriving happiness from a claim that could be factually true. It the thing is, be. you mm. can't prove God is real, and you can't prove that God isn't real. That's the thing. It's just like, yeah, it's a belief. Are you deriving happiness from a coin flip? A coin flip? I guess if you want to put it in simple terms, sure, yeah. Mm. But I mean, as long as like for myself and like my life, like I know I'm happy, because, you know, I believe in God and Islam yeah. and the lifestyle it's set out for me. I think I'm okay. Okay. Unless, like, you know, something comes out of the sky, you know, it's like, no, I'm the real God. Or, you mm. know what I mean? Like, I feel like as of now, like, that's, that's kind of like where I'm set in life. Yeah. And it's proven to be a lot more beneficial than, say, questioning and seeking out, you know, the factual truth and applying science. Okay. Well, I have, like, five more questions. Really good question. I'd love to yeah. ask you, but I think in the interest of time and maybe yeah. trying to keep it brief, we should probably wrap it up. Yeah, for sure. Unless you'd like me to keep asking you these questions. I actually got to. Yeah, do you I have gotta, to go? Yeah, I got to okay. do some work, yeah. I'd like to, number one, offer you a magnet with the words of what I'm doing okay. so you yeah. can look further into yeah. it. And I have this gear with three pieces. I'd like to offer you one of the three yeah. as a gift, and then oh. maybe you can come back for the other two. Which color would you like? Uh, I'd probably go for red. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right, cool. And then lastly, I have a card with my email on it yeah. so that sometimes people end up thinking about it and they want to meet up or yeah. they want to change the definition of a word or whatever. Okay. So is this going like on YouTube or something? I don't know. Cool. It's hard to say. Um, let's say we meet two more times and yeah. you profoundly shift in your position. Okay. I might actually put it on there because I, but 
Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah but you'll I, see, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's really diff difficult to say, but I would love to meet with you again at some point. Yeah, for sure. So we can talk about okay. so what, what we talked about. You or what? <laughs> Probably what's going to happen is you'll just notice me out here not talking to anybody, and if you got time to kill, then right. just come up and we'll chat again. Yeah, for sure. Typically Fridays or what? Typically, it's gonna. I'm gonna try to be out here weekdays if the weather's nice before it gets too hot during the day. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I got you. All right, Zane. Well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. I wish. You, name my name is Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. All right, nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Take care. That was a really great conversation. Um, it wasn't lost on me at the start that he disclosed that he is uh, pre-med. Um, that's really useful for not only building rapport but also for getting an assessment of, uh, of what his limitations are with his hypothesis. So would he walk into his pre-med classes with the same sort of hypothesis that I'm gonna believe that this is true even though I'll never know that it's the case. I'm gonna derive happiness from it. I might derive benefit from it. I think we could probably end up utilizing that later if he does come back. It was also nice that he was Muslim. I don't get a chance to meet a lot of Muslims out here. And some of the ones that I have met contact me later to say, please take down the video because we're getting pressure from our family and friends about it. So that was, uh, that was really enjoyable. I hope I run into him again and we can delve a little bit deeper into this discussion and why questioning might pull him away from happiness. I think it would probably be important to acknowledge that, yes, uncertainty and asking questions and maybe not even getting answers to them could result in unhappiness. It's an unpleasant feeling to not know how things are operating and, and to struggle to come up with answers or to have to set things aside because we don't currently understand how it works or what the answers are. So I think I would acknowledge that that feeling that can be elicited when somebody does question. But um, is the feeling so uncomfortable to the point where you are comfortable believing things that aren't true? And it seems currently at the moment that Zane is. So hopefully we meet again. I probably wouldn't upload this video, take the time to edit it, unless he does come back for more conversations and we see some progress on that front.